<laughs> Have you ever witnessed a catch so momentous a whole town gathers to celebrate the angler? Thanks everyone, you didn't have to come. Well, nor had I until last week. Let me explain. Last year I was kidnapped and forced to make a film with some dodgy guys from Birmingham. They challenged me to a multi-species battle and I absolutely smashed them up. You only won by one point. Okay, anyway, this summer they summoned me once again, but this time I decided to meet them in France for an epic fishing battle. Me versus Snag Bro. Let's do this. Just like any fishing trip, we started this one full of energy and excitement. Little did we know, this was going to be a very difficult trip in more ways than one. Oh, I forgot how cool it is. Look at that. Our first task was to bait the swim we planned to fish the next day. By introducing a load of maize and pellets, we'd be drawing barbel, catfish and carp into the zone. 70 mil it looks like. <laughs> oh, what the? Sorry, Sean. Mate. Oh. I'm going to stop being your bud goblin in a minute. Bud <laughs> goblin. Oh, look at this knot of death. Oh. oh, let's just get a nice bomb rod. Do you reckon I'm going to catch a barbel cow? I have a good feeling. Do you? Yeah. Do you? I don't know. I've been struggling with catching a barbel. Have you? Yeah. You weren't there last time, but Carl took us last year. And Sean had a barbel. Carl had a barbel. And right at the end, I come off! No! Anyway, now we were off to the shop for some food. Un baguette, je n'ai pas les pas français. Oh! oh. oh. Sauce in there. Je n'ai pas français. <laughs> oh! And here we see uh, wild giraffe, I mean, Alex in his natural environment. He hunts for his prey. Meanwhile, Tom had caught his prey, and plenty of it, whereas I, on the other hand, seemed to be locked in a staring contest with a dead fish. Sean's priorities were on point, and once we'd stocked up on vital, essential supplies, it was time to find our accommodation. Crikey, mate, it's Fort Knox. No, no, close the door and put it in like it's the first time. No. <laughs> I've never fished in France. Ever? No. I can't believe how easy it was with like passport control and... Mm -hmm. This feels like a proper little holiday, this does. But tomorrow, the challenge begins. No! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are having a laugh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we baited it up. And he's, he's on the... Oh, there. there's one here. They're having a match. <laughs> they are literally having... This guy's got three rods out. That's devastating. Oh, can we just tell them to go? Because we've <laughs> driven for 10 hours to fish that spot. All we could do was fish a little further downstream and hope that this area was also productive. So what's the rules? I am the judge and I'm going to oversee these three anglers to make sure no cheating goes on. And the rules are, every fish needs to be on camera for it to count. The team who has caught the most amount of weight... Tomorrow evening will be the end of the competition and by that time, the person, the team, who has caught the most weight I can't do it, I'm just say it now. This is terrible. Alex, total weight wins. <laughs> total weight win. Let the best anglers win. Angler win. Oh no, the van's up there. <laughs> Why are you running to there? <laughs> Having fished this spot earlier in the year, I knew of its large barbel shoals. A great way to get off the mark and add weight to my score. I'm going to start with a feeder, I think. Feed it in a bit of spam because when we were here last time, Cal did quite good catching barbel with spam, didn't you? Why are you copying me? Taking inspiration from your genius. Ah, oh, yeah, I like that. Our cart rods are ready to go, but they've still got the rigs on from our last session with Carl because we haven't been carping in a year. These aren't <coughs> our cart fishing rods, they're our Carl fishing rods. And to be fair, I didn't even have a bite. So they're sharper than they were 
when Carl put them on a year ago. So let's go. Barbel food, spam, and barbel ground bait. Carl, can we uh, can we have a bucket, please? Yes. For ground bait. Yeah. Thank you. And can we have some ground bait as well? And can we have some meat as well? We are fishing against each other. Don't you talk about the meat. No, I'm just How saying. How many tins did I bring? Okay, okay. There you go. In fact, I've already chopped this one up for you. Oh, look. They're not chopped up too great though, are they? I'm actually casting to these, to the base of the bridge stanchion. It's a bit of a, a feature. And it also seems to be really deep where those posts go in. Right then. Let's get some ground bait, we've nicked our bucket. Now this is what I brought with me. It's from Brum, this is. If it works on the rivers in Brum, work here, will it? I liked their confidence, but mine was already faltering as I noticed the French anglers weren't exactly getting many bites. So what I'm gonna do, Sean, is I'm gonna get the float rod, see if we can get off the mark. As Tom and Sean settled into their fishing, I definitely noticed an interesting dynamic in their team fishing approach that said, who am I to judge? I hadn't even had a bite yet. Is she? Is she? Is she? I don't even know what that is. Wait, we're off the mark. Oh, Alex, what will you give you? us that weight wise an ounce? I would, no, I would give you a quarter of an ounce. Oh. Well, we're in the lead. Do you want to hold him out any further? Put you on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Half ounce. Carl yes. ain't gonna beat that. Yes, Tom. Tell them anglers who are in our spot. This is where the party's at. I'm not sure what sort of parties Tom goes to, but one tiny bleak was only a little more disappointing than my first fish, a small roach bream hybrid. It's something really little. Oh, it's depressing. This really wasn't what we'd come for and the lack of activity in my swim was a cause for concern. I know we're still early in the session, uh, it's time to come, but I'm already starting to doubt whether that 10 hour, 10 and a half hour drive was actually worth it. So the fishing was quite difficult anyway, and now I've just had a load of rocks land in my swim from about 300 meters up on top of the bridge. I have a feeling the fishing. <laughs> okay, now they're throwing rocks at us. We're trying to get the message across. Hey! <laughs> La fish! Fishy! <laughs> That's made it worse. <laughs> With even more rocks raining down into the river, we decided to grab some lunch and wait for the lads to leave us in peace. Lunch time. Hi Alex. There you go. Mm -hmm. Things always seem better once you've eaten well, and with renewed energy, I headed upstream in search of the elusive barbel. Wow, now this bit looks nice. It's a bit of a trek to get to, but it looks good. Well, Carl's gone off exploring. It's been bleak, and all we've been catching is bleak. I can feel like the meat bouncing around the rocks, and you just expect at any moment for the line to just bang, bang like something takes it. It feels a bit different to the first uh, Carl vs. the World, doesn't it, this one, that we did with him, because this one's more serious, isn't it, then? It was like multi-species just going to a float lake and this time we've driven all the way to france to try and catch a river carp and a barbel and potentially a catfish hopefully. yeah what? The fishing. no no it's forbidden oh okay 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 bye bye now what there's a match in our favorite spot nothing's biting further downstream and matey says we can't fish here I want to cry. But men don't cry, especially not on camera. <laughs> Are you okay, Carl? No! 
I want my mummy. I just want to catch a barbell. <laughs> Hello? Hi Alex, we're not allowed to fish here. <laughs> oh dear, you got kicked off. Yeah, can you come and get us please? I didn't get any bites. And then we got told we had to go. So, you, can you fish that bit maybe? No, he even said we have to leave it. We have to be 100 meters down from the, oh, wow. from the weir. I really hope that just one of us catches now. Anything. I know, I know this is a versus challenge, but on the positive note, because you haven't caught either, I feel like Snagbro's chances of winning is increasing as time goes on. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, look how well we're doing. I wanna be a fish fisherman. I wanna be the very best. Like no one ever was. Snap, snap, snap. I will travel across the land. Searching far and wide. Fish with Carl! <laughs> da, 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 da. Stop! You're sick of this. We've just noticed the match is over in the spot that we baited yesterday, so we're gonna go up there now and hope things improve. <laughs> Even that frog's laughing at us. This is a gaffer type. We gaffer it on. If this comes off, then I'm gonna put it on the wrong way. Day one was approaching its end. Things couldn't have been more difficult. I was in the lead by a matter of ounces, but to be honest, I also didn't have a film worth making and the expense of getting out here was also weighing on me. I kind of felt bad for dragging my friends along for such a tricky and unrewarding session. Oh, look at that. I am doing so well. <gasps> it's not a bream, but I think that's a rud. A rud bream hybrid. Oh, bye bye. Without them telling me so, I got the feeling Tom and Sean were losing hope with the fishing. I can't deal with this. Good dog. They are hard work, they are. The angling was also hard work, but you don't get anywhere by giving up. So we kept rebaiting and settled in for the evening. Yes, Sean! Oh, good tuner! Oh yeah, do, do a carpy pose. We're gonna have a beautiful feast tonight with some fresh local ingredients and some beautiful Savion Bordeaux. We're living it up here in France. I thought I had another bream <laughs> and it's a mirror. Oh, it's, it's very, very cute. And I'm happy to get off the mark and catch the first carp of the challenge, but wow, that was a tough day. Cheers. To times like these. Yeah, yeah. The bream. The bream, <laughs> yay. I suppose things weren't so bad. We had caught a handful of species and in the most amazing scenery. Together we decided to wake up much earlier the following day and begin fishing our pre-baited spot at first light. Day two was going to be different. We'd eaten and rested well and were now ready for some serious fishing. The spot had been baited for two days running, so there was even more chance of a big fish being caught. The rods were cast out perfectly and confidence was sky high. 
until someone came along with some bad news. Fait really? Aujourd'hui. Yeah. Aujourd'hui. Que aujourd'hui. At all. Oui. Feu d'artifice. Boom boom. Ah right. No pêcher. No pêcher aujourd'hui. You want us to. Voilà. C'est oui. We had to leave before we'd even fished for half an hour. Apparently, the workers needed access to set up some sort of event. Due to the heat, I wanted to find oxygenated water, somewhere the barber would happily swim in the summer months. And this pool looked perfect. I'd be so shocked if we don't pull a barbel out of here. It looks so barbely. Put it out there in that current and hope that our fortunes begin to change. Oh, that might be a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. What was that? Was it, it was going? Yeah. I feel like it's just about to happen. All those past sessions of no barbel and I feel like I'm just about to break the curse. Something happened. I don't know if it was a barbel or not, but there was tension on it because the feeder nearly knocked out Carl behind me. A little way upstream, Sean had spotted a large carp, so lowered in a rig, whilst Tom continued to pursue his first barbel. If you hadn't already noticed, our competitive nature had faded completely, and instead we worked together just trying to find one fish that could save a potentially wasted trip. But nothing we did seemed to work. I'd normally say, uh, ha have some faith, but I I'm not sure either now. First time in France and the fishing is harder here than it is in the UK. I thought that we were just going to catch loads of fish, loads of car, loads of barbel, catfish. I was thinking I was going to catch 100 pound catfish and it hasn't happened. I think now we're just kind of hoping for one fish. If we caught one barbel, we would all be celebrating. The whole town would be celebrating. We decided to try another location. Nothing special, no local advice, no pre-baiting, just another random weir pool on this seemingly barbelless French river. Oh, this looks good. Beautiful. Look and at the... The last three spots looked good. Yeah, they did. Everywhere looks good. And it just isn't good. I'm just getting annoyed now. <laughs> yeah? I just wanted, I just thought, let's just get the float out and just catch a bleak. <laughs> You're good at that. That'll make, that'll make the video, won't no, it? that would, yeah. There'll be so many people jumping at the opportunity to bleak watch that. Bleak fishing in France. <laughs> bleak in France. A bleak fishing trip in France. Barbel quest is continuing. I'm just feeling kind of not great because I've taken Tom and Sean all the way to the south of France and I've told them how wonderful this bit of river is. And so far, it's just not paid off. But this spot looks lovely. And I'm gonna get rigged up and get fishing. Whilst Tom cast feeders like before, I wanted to roll meat, a tactic where you put spam on your hook and let it bounce along the bottom. The rods are out, third location. You had one yet? Yeah. But no, but yeah, but no, because what happened was this thing that I don't even know nothing about it's or nothing. So you're, you're still trying then? Yeah, still trying, yeah. Oh, oh, oh left, 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 left. Yeah. <laughs> Fish. Fishy. It's a barbel, it's a barbel. <laughs> Oh, we needed that. So, so happy. It's been a long time coming. First ever river barbel. It's all worth it now. 
Guys, let's all get our meat in the river. Yeah, let's do exactly that. We had definitely stumbled across the Barbel Shoal as the following casts received immediate action. Oh. Yes! <laughs> we found what we were looking for, Barbel Paradise, and now we're just losing count of how many Barbel we're catching, which I didn't think we were going to say that this morning. Nice netting, Sean. Oh, yeah. oh. You got a minus four on that net in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Recovered though. Finally. It's nice to see some fish on the bank. Carl was like the driving force, persisted. Come on, let's do it. We can do it. And uh, it's happened. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I'm having a great time, sat on a rock, watching the guys catch barbel, sun's out, beautiful location. Oh, oh mate, 10 out of 10. So you got cheese, Alex? Yeah, we got a baby bell. One between all of us? Yeah. Oh, gosh. It's bigger than my sandwich. It's bigger than your head. I won't go that far. Thanks for taking us to France, Carl, and hooking up the barbel. I will always remember this trip. The baguettes, the pan au chocolat, the pêche. It has been good. It's been a good trip. As we began our journey back to the hotel, we knew nothing of the celebration about to go down. Walking down the hill, it seemed all the locals had come out to meet Tom and congratulate him on his magnificent barbel. Thanks everyone. You didn't have to come, but I uh, appreciate it. First barbel, yeah. Oh no, yeah. Year and a half. Yeah, it was, yeah. But thanks. Cheers. Hey. To be honest, I believe the fireworks were actually to commemorate the start of the French Revolution. Although, I chose not to tell him that. Well done, Tom. To an orphan farm in France. To Barbel. 